Hey, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline. And guys, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, bringing you that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the long awaited, maybe somewhat anticipated, Grayson issue number one. Uh, yeah, cool cover here. It's kind of James Bondish, as you can see. You've got this pink background with those circles and, you know, the little yellow thing in the back. And you got Grayson pointing the gun. And all you need now is some spy music because that's exactly what this book is about. It is a spy book. Now, I never read really Nightwing at all uh, in the first volume of the New 52. So I want to see what this chapter brings for Dick Grayson and if I will like it. Um, now, longtime Batman fans or Nightwing fans uh, may not agree with what's going on here, but I wanted to see what this was about. So I picked it up and said, eh, what the hell, let's give it a try. So this book is written by Tim Seeley and the artwork is done by Miguel Janin. I think the artwork's okay. Um, I think it's pretty basic in my opinion, basic of paneling. Uh, I think the artwork is done nicely. Um, I think, you know, the characters' faces are drawn nicely. Um, but I'm a sucker for a lot of detail in comic books when it comes to art. And I like a little bit more detail in my characters and the clothing that they wear and, uh, and, and things like that. Uh, so here's some weird bearded guy with some glowing stuff coming out of him. What is that all about? Uh, so yeah, I thought the artwork was average. It's about three-star artwork for me. So what was this story really about? Um, right off the bat, you get to see um, a, a, an introduction of, of, uh, of Grayson, and uh, you get to see this whole spy mission that's going on uh, for the retrieval of this man. Uh, there's this battle between this guy who's got this particular... Um, device in his belly and it's uh, this hot commodity and it again it's this guy right here and you get to see him introduced into uh, the beginning of this book where you get this uh, this agent here uh, that is trying to persuade him to go with him and, and and paralyze him and you know take him take her take him away so they can get this device but at the same time Dick Grayson and uh, which is the Huntress now, Helena, is in this particular issue also trying to get this same guy. And we wind up finding out that in the issue um, that they prevail, they wind up getting this guy, uh, because which is the Huntress now in the New 52, uh, winds up uh, paralyzing this girl with some drug from the red wine or whatnot. And Dick Grayson winds up, you know, getting together with this guy, picks him up, and then there's this super being that tries to get him as well. That's pretty much this issue, retrieving this guy, fighting for this guy. Not really in a great in-depth number one issue, in my opinion. Um, I think that there is potential here, because you get introduced to the spy group that, or the agency that Dick Grayson and the Huntress are working for, which is the name of Spiral, and you get to see maybe a possible uh, relationship here between the Huntress and Dick Grayson, uh, but it's against agency rules to have it. Um, and you get to see potential plot lines at the very last panel here about um, finding out who the superhumans or superhero community really is, trying to find out all their identities. So, I think this book may have some promise, but I'm not sure really where it's going to go in a long time, in a long run, and I'm not sure how long I will read it for. But for right now, it sounds interesting, and I find myself more interested in actually the Huntress here than in Dick Grayson, because I want to see how her new 52 character pans out. Because if you guys are not familiar with this, uh, she's obviously different now and she wears a Hannibal Lecter like mask from the silent you know like Silence of the Lambs uh, as part of her battle gear so I don't know we'll see where this goes but after reading this I thought it was an average uh, first issue and I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars I thought it was average at best I think 
longtime Nightwing fans are going to be disappointed with it. New readers might jump on board just to see what happens, but there might not be enough here uh, to keep your attention. Say, wow, I really want to get the second issue because I didn't feel that here. So again, I'm going to give the second issue a try, see where it goes, and a three out of five stars from me. So guys, as always, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com for all our news articles, uh, a whole bunch of written stuff as well. You can check out my story. Uh, you can check out my own individual story, Realm of Dreams, start, sorry, and you can check out uh, ComicRelated.com. And also, don't forget to check out this Tuesday, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Comic Frontline, Q&A, 1,000 subscriber live show. Again, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this Tuesday, for two hours, we're going to be answering nothing but your guys' questions. And we'll talk about maybe a couple of these number one books that were released this week. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off.